प्रोफेसर एम एन शाहा एडवांस द थियोरी ऑफ थर्मल आयनाइजेशन एंड शोड दैट द स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ स्टार्स कैन बी बेस्ट एक्सप्लेन बाई एसूमिंग दैट इन स्टार्स द एटम्स आर एक्साइटेड टू हायर स्टेट्स एंड आयनाइज टू सक्सेसिव डिग्रीज ऑफ थर्मल आयनाइजेशन now uh, i will just put the theory uh, in mathematical way first of all and after that we will see the important applications of this very important theory so to put the assumptions mathematically professor saha considered the neutral atom and neglecting the process of excitation he assumed directly ionization although we know always ionization is preceded by excitation but for the for simplicity of theory he assumed directly ionization without considering excitation so let us consider and neutral atom suppose m let m equal to a neutral atom and this atom suffers ionization without excitation so its ionization equation can be represented as its ionization equation may be given as or represented as m plus u to m plus plus e minus say this is equation 1 as you see this sign indicate that this is just a reversible process and in this equation what the different term actually refers you have assumed that m is a neutral atom and m plus here is the positive ion obtained after ionization so m dash is positive ion this e minus refers electron and u actually denotes the ionization energy this is ionization energy you can write this uh, u term in right side of the equation with negative sign too actually it is a reversible process as this sign indicates and we know that the total change of thermodynamic potential or you may say the gibbs potential in a reversible process or reversible reaction is zero we know from thermodynamics so in a reversible process or reaction reversible reaction the total change in thermodynamic potential potential 
is zero. That is, you may say, if we denote the thermodynamic potential by phi, then delta phi is equal to zero. And uh, how this phi, that is thermodynamic potential, is defined? We know from thermodynamics that this phi is defined as we define the phi as h minus T s where actually h represents the enthalpy of the system and this h is actually equal to u plus pv and minus T s in this equation the terms have their usual meaning uh, you know this u here represents internal energy p pressure v volume t temperature and s entropy and so uh, you may say as in on the basis of equation number 2 for the reversible process defined in equation 1 you we can see that uh, see here the total change in potent thermodynamic potential will be zero if we apply equation uh, sorry this is equation number 2 not 3 if we apply this equation 2 on equation 1 then what we will get we will get that so using 2 for 1 our result will be phi a plus plus phi e minus phi a and this will be equal to 0. Actually in this equation this phi a represents thermodynamic potential this is thermo dynamic potential of atom that is neutral atom and like that phi a plus this refers the thermodynamic potential of ion and phi e it denotes the thermodynamic potential of electron actually in a state of this thermodynamic potentials uh, phi we use a useful parameter uh, which is actually denoted by the symbol psi and it is called uh, the associated function of thermodynamic potential so uh, still a more useful parameter is psi and that psi is uh, defined in terms of phi uh, in this way so a still a more useful a more useful parameter is psi which is associated function associated function 
of phi and it is defined as how we define psi psi is actually defined as minus phi over t and so if we see this definition of phi uh, so that will be actually equal to what this will be simply s minus u plus pv over t but uh, we have not any use of this definition here so i want to express the condition of reversible reaction that is total change in thermodynamic potential is zero in terms of this associated function psi uh, associated function of phi which is psi in terms of this and for this let us divide this equation i uh, say this is a actually equation uh, number three we say it so to express the condition in terms of psi let us divide the equation three by t then what will be our result so dividing three by t what we will get we will get that phi a plus over t i am just dividing uh, each term by t separately so this will be phi a plus divided by t plus phi e divided by t and minus phi a divided by t and this will be zero and as we know the psi is defined as minus phi over t so on the basis of this definition what will be the first term this will be actually minus psi a plus this is minus psi e and this will be plus psi a and this equal to zero and uh, this equation may be written as this psi a is equal to psi a plus plus psi and say this is equation 4 now the third this uh, associated function psi which is associated with actually the thermodynamic potential uh, phi in thermodynamics we define it in a particular manner so uh, the thermodynamic expression the thermodynamic expression for psi is given as it is given as psi equal to cp ln t minus r ln p plus r ln 2 pi m whole to the power 3 by 2 k to the power 5 by 2 times g over h cube and uh, minus u over t 
दिस इज एक्चुअली द थर्मोडाइनमिक एक्सप्रेशन फॉर दिस फंक्शन साइ इन दिस इक्वेशन द व्हाट द डिफरेंट टर्म रेफर्स यू कैन सी द इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म्स यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन फाइव रेफर्स दैट एज यू नो दिस सी पी इज मोलर स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर मोलर स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्प प्रेशर at constant pressure r you know this is actually universal gas constant this is universal gas constant p is the pressure of the present constituent of gas this is pressure or you may say partial pressure pressure of the constituent of the gas h you know this is actually planck's constant this is a universal constant planck's constant k is boltzmann constant a usual symbol this is boltzmann constant and g is a very important quantity this is actually a statistical weight of the constituent Uh, present in the gas so this is a statistical weight of the constituent of gas or it is also called lens splitting factor lens g factor or splitting factor and t is absolute temperature and this is absolute temperature and for convenience i am just writing this equation in a uh, particular manner <coughs> so from you can see the expression uh, in equation 5 and for convenience i am just writing it in this way so equation 5 is written as how we will write it this can be written as psi over r divide by the factors r both sides of this equation and we will get this will be cp over r this is in fact r cp over r ln t c the equation 5 minus ln p plus ln 2 pi m over h square Whole to the power three by two. K to the power 
फाइव बाई टू इंटू जी एंड माइनस यू ओवर आर टी एंड से दिस इज इक्वेशन सिक्स नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सिक्स वी कैन राइट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द दिस फंक्शन साय फॉर द न्यूट्रल आइटम फॉर द आयन एंड फॉर द इलेक्ट्रन फॉर ईच स्पेसिज ऑफ द गैस वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इक्वेशन सिक्स सो ओनली सम टर्म्स विल बी डिफरेंट फॉर दिज थ्री स्पेसिज सो सी हियर सो वी कैन राइट सो so the values psi a psi a plus and psi e are given as how we will write it see here psi a over r this will be equal to uh, cp ln t minus ln pa here pa is the partial pressure for the neutral atoms plus ln 2 pi m over h square whole to the power 3 by 2 k to the power फाइव बाय टू टाइम्स जी एयर एक्चुअली जी ए इज द स्टैटिस्टिकल वेट फॉर द न्यूट्रल एटम्स एंड दिस इज माइनस यू ए ओवर आर टी यू ए ओवर आर टी से दिस इज इक्वेशन ए अगेन in the sim sorry here we should note that the value of this cp will be actually 5 by 2 from at the we as we know the degree of freedom so you can write and the value of cp here this cp is actually equal to 5 over 2 and therefore we can write psi a over r equal to 5 over 2 ln t minus ln pa plus एल एन टू पाई एम ओवर एच स्क्वायर होल टू दी पावर थ्री बाय टू के टू दी पावर फाइव बाय टू टाइम्स जी ए एंड माइनस यू ए ओवर आर टी and this value of cp is same for the species electron and ion too and so the we can write similar equation for the ion and electron only the change in some terms will be there and we will see in that equation so similarly we can write similarly 
if we write the equation for ion that will be psi a plus over r and this is again 5 by 2 ln t minus ln p a plus actually this p a plus is the partial pressure due to ions plus ln since mass of the neutral atom and the ion are almost same so here I am just writing the mass of ion M as mass of the neutral atom because due to loss of one or two electron there is no appreciable change in mass so mass of ion is taken same as that of the neutral atom and k to the power 5 by 2 and g a plus here the statistical weight is taken g a plus and minus u a plus over r t say this is equation b uh, now the similar equation may be written uh, for the electron so we can write for electron psi e over r and this will be again 5 by 2 ln t minus ln pe here pe is the partial pressure due to electron plus ln here mass of electron uh, we are considering is me so this is 2 pi me over h square whole to the power 3 by 2 k to the power 5 by 2 ge a statistical weight of electron is g and minus ue over rt and say this is equation c now we have uh, actually defined this quantity psi over r for the three species of our ionized gas that is electron ion and the neutral atom now we will actually put this value uh, this these values of uh, quantities in equation number four see this equation four and if you will put the all those values in equation four what we will get see here so from equation four equation four uh, you have seen that this equation is, is says that this psi a is equal to psi a plus plus psi e and now uh, we can also write this as this psi a over r is equal to psi a plus over r plus psi e over r just i have divided by r in both sides and now let us substitute the values of these quantities from the a of equation a b and c so substituting for this substituting for this we get what will be psi a over r see uh, the a by values this these are in fact 5 by 2 ln t minus ln p a plus ln 2 pi m 
over h square to the power 3 by 2 k to the power 5 by 2 g a and minus u a over r t and this will be actually equal to uh, sum of these two so and sum of these two will be what this will be actually 5 by 2 ln t minus ln p a plus plus ln 2 pi m over h square to the power 3 by 2 k to the power 5 by 2 g a plus minus u a plus over r t and plus psi e over r and what is this this is 5 by 2 ln t minus ln p e plus ln 2 pi m over h square to the power 3 by 2 k to the power 5 by 2 g e and minus u e divided by r t now uh, you can see the this common term will cancel out and if we will simplify this equation then after simplification you may get that this 0 is equal to minus 5 over 2 ln t minus ln pa plus ln pa plus times pa minus ln 2 pi m e over h square to the power 3 by 2 k to the power 5 by 2 plus ln g a minus ln g a plus g e and plus u a plus 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 u a minus u a and divided by r t divided by r t and now let us simplify this equation to some extent so after simplification what we will get you can see we will get that this ln p a plus p e over p a you can see and uh, the above equation and that is equal to 5 over 2 ln t plus ln 2 pi m e by h square whole to the power 3 by 2 times k to the power 5 by 2 plus ln g a plus g e over g a and minus 
u over r t and uh, what will be the equation number this is actually equation number 7 say this is equation 7 now in this equation the term u have been used instead of uh, you can see this is instead of u a plus plus u e minus u so you can see that here i have used u instead of u a plus plus u e minus u a and actually this is the ionization energy or ionization potential you may say now uh, let us start when uh, this uh, process ionization process was started then in the beginning there were total n number of atoms in our gaseous system so let us assume first of all i am just writing here this is ionization energy or you may say ionization potential so now let us consider let n equal to number of the atoms in beginning that is when the gas was unionized then the num total number of atoms present in the gaseous system was n and let us assume that x is equal to the fraction of atoms ionized this is fraction of atoms ionized then what will be n times x this will be actually the number of atoms ionized or you may say this is a number of ions you can say so this is number of atoms ionized as the total number of atoms was n and now the nx is the number of atoms ionized so if we will subtract this nx from n then we will get the number of atoms which remain unionized so you can say that n minus nx equal to number of atoms unionized unionized and the equation of a state of a perfect gas we can write uh, in terms of the number of atoms in the beginning and you may say per unit volume you may say it this is number of atoms per unit volume that is concentration so now we can write the uh, equation of a state for the different species of this gas so what will be that equation of a state so now we can write the partial pressure of the ion pa plus will be equal to what as the number of ions you know per unit volume is nx so this will be nx kt since the number of electrons 
is same as that of the number of ions because we are considering only the first order ionization that is one electron is detached from an uh, atom so this is also equal to partial pressure exerted by the electron and uh, now pa the number of unionized atoms as i have uh, mentioned uh, above that this is n times 1 minus x and kt in fact in this pa plus pe and pa are partial pressures which the different species species exert so now the total pressure p can be found so the total pressure we know the total pressure is simply the sum of the partial pressures so this will be pa plus pa plus plus pe and uh, substitute the value of pa this is n times 1 minus x times kt this is kt plus as we know this pa plus and pe are same and its value is this much nx kt so this will be actually the 2 nx kt and if we will add it uh, what we will get we will get this is n kt plus 2 nx kt minus nx kt this will be nx kt so if we will take n kt constant uh, common factor then our result will be simply what this is 1 plus x kt so this is the total pressure now we can find the different partial pressures in terms of this total pressure so now you can calculate that uh, this pa plus pa plus a uh, over p and this will be actually equal to pe over p because pa plus and pe are same and what will be this see the values we will divide this value by this value so n kt will be cancel out and our result will be simply x over 1 plus x and so from this result we can write that pa plus is equal to pe and this is equal to x over 1 plus x times p similarly we can now express the value of partial pressure due to the neutral atom in terms of the total pressure so pa over p see the value of pa here and the value of p here and from this you can find that pa over p will be what this will be simply 1 minus x over 1 plus x and so from here we can write this pa is equal to 1 minus x over 1 plus x time p so you will see that uh, the fraction of atoms which get ionized that is x in terms of x we have cal just calculated the partial pressure exerted by the different species of the ionized gas so now 
लेट एस पुट दीज वैल्यूज ऑफ पी ए प्लस पी ई एंड पी ए इन इक्वेशन सी हियर इन विच इक्वेशन वी विल पुट इट इन द इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस फाइंड दिस क्वान्टिटी दैट इज पी ए प्लस टाइम्स पी ई ओवर पी ए एंड देन वी विल पुट दिस इन दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन सो यूजिंग दीज वैल्यूज इन सेवन लेट अस सीज आई हैव जस्ट ड्रॉप सम ऑफ द सिंपल अलजेबरा यू कैन सी दैट दैट विल बी एल एन एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर पी एंड दिस विल बी फाइव ओवर टू एल एन टी प्लस एल एन टू पाई एम ई ओवर एच स्क्वायर टू द पावर थ्री बाय टू टाइम्स के टू द पावर फाइव बाय टू प्लस एल एन जी ए प्लस टाइम्स जी ई ओवर जी ए एंड माइनस यू ओवर आर टी एंड फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सी दैट वी कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन एज एल एन x is i have just uh, left some of the algebra you can see it easily that this is x square over 1 minus x square times p over t to the power 5 by 2 2 pi m e over h square होल टू दी पावर थ्री बाय टू के टू दी पावर फाइव बाय टू टाइम्स जी ए प्लस जी ई डिवाइडेड बाय जी ए एंड दिस इक्वल्स माइनस यू ओवर आर टी दिस इज जस्ट log a minus log b equal to log a by b and the another another formula is log a times b equal to log a plus log b so simplify this uh, uh, the logarithmic term of rhs that will be just in the form of product and let it be in lhs that will be log a minus log b form and that will be log a over log b so now we can find from this uh, result what will be this uh, uh, quantity inside the square bracket so you may write so we can write that this x square is square over 1 minus x square times p and this will be what this is 2 pi m e over h square to the power 3 by 2 k t to the power 5 by 2 g a plus g e over g a 
and e to the power minus u by rt actually this result is known as sahaj equation or sahaj ionization formula this is sahaj equation or sahaj ionization formula so you have seen how sahaj ionization formula is derived and now in the next lecture we will see some of its important applications and the factors on which the degree of ionization depends we will also see